All right, we're at the beginning of October, so it's time to take a look at the current GPU market for new GPUs to see where the price points are at and see if you can save some money or figure out whether or not it's time for you to buy one or to wait, right? So let's get to it. Let's take a look at the charts. Just as, as a reminder for this column, I'm doing the best average three prices. So if you add up all the prices that are available, that number would be way skewed. So we're just talking about the top three prices that we've got for each model, right? And this is an order of uh, the models by MSRP going downward, okay? All right, so the 5090, 32 gigs of VRAM, $2,000 MSRP. Previously in September, the best average three prices came out to be 2357. Uh, currently, we're at 2433, so we're going the wrong direction, right? Uh, previous month in September, the best 5090 price was at 2300. Now, the best price is at 2400. At one point, it got down, I think, to 22 and change, but in the 1st of October, we're seeing 2400. And this might be their effort to gear up for the holidays to buffer that price so that when they reduce the price, it looks like you've got greater savings. So just be aware that it's trickery when they do things like this. All right, and so 20%, we're in, we're in the red. And as you can see right here, uh, there's less red than historically. And so we'll be talking a little bit more about that as we go along. And so the best priced 5090 is the Gigabyte Windforce OC and the MSI Ventus 3X OC. You can find those at Newegg or Best Buy. 4090, 24 gigs of VRAM, 1600 MSRP. The best average price for September was 2720. It's now at 2753, again, going the wrong direction. Previous month, the best price GPU was at 2440. Now it's at 2480. 55% markup for the 4090 and it's all third party stuff. Stay away from the 4090. Don't buy from third parties. They're insane and they're trying to sell you on the 4090 because people are unhappy with the 50 series. Don't let them take advantage of you. All right, 5080, 16 gigs of VRAM, $1,000 MSRP. Last month, the best average price was 1017. This month it's at 1004. So definitely go in the right direction. Our lowest price, just like last month, is at $1,000. And that's a PNY OC, which you can find at Best Buy and Newegg. That annoys me that it's off center like that, but you know. All right, then we got the 4080 Super, 16 gigs of VRAM, MSRP 1000. Previous month, at best average was 1569. As of October 1, the best average is at 1389 so that's going in the right direction but it is only third party stuff so just be aware of that and the markup is high because the lowest price one is at 1250 last month it was 1449 but that's still a 25 percent markup so stay away from that and we got the 7900 xtx which has 24 gigs of vram thousand dollar msrp last month the best average was at 986 this month we're at 942. The lowest price is at 800 where the previous month it was at 850. And we've got a 20% mark down from MSRP for the 7900 XDX. I actually picked one up for $750 from Newegg recently. And so yeah, that was an interesting purchase. But yeah, it's 800 still a decent buy for this card. And that card is the ASRock Phantom OC. You find that on Newegg. 4070 Ti Super, 16 gig, $800 MSRP. Previous month average was at 1166. Uh, the best average three for this month is at 1010, so going in the right direction. Previous month, it was at 1117 for the best price and 855 this month. And that's at Walmart. And this is not a third party. It's being sold and shipped by Walmart. And that's the Asus Pro Art OC. That is a pretty decent price for that card. It's uh, less than 7% above MSRP. It's not a fantastic price, but it's certainly an acceptable price. Next, we got the 4070 Ti at 12 gigs of VRAM, MSRP at 800, which was always a mistake on their part. Uh, previous month, best average was at 1081. It's now at 922, so going in the right direction. 
the previous month's absolute best price was at 9.30. Now it's at 8.55, which is also almost a 7% markup. And it's also an Asus ProArt OC, also sold at Walmart by Walmart. 5070Ti, 16 gig, 750 MSRP. Previous best average was 778, currently at 750 for the best three average. Last month, the best priced one was at 763. Now it's at 750, which is at MSRP. And it's a four way tie between Gigabyte, PNY, Zotac, and Asus models. And you can find those uh, either on New Egg or Best Buy, depending on which model you get. And then we got the 7900 XT, 20 gigs of VRAM, $750. MSRP previous month uh, best average was at 799 this month we're at 717 also going in the right direction previous month's best model was priced at 630 this month it's at 631 and it's the same model as last month which is the XFX RX 79 yada 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 model and you can find that at Newegg selling through the XFX store and that one is almost 16% below MSRP so pretty decent Price for that particular card. And we got the 9070 XT, which actually, if you look over here, performs a little bit better across the board than the 7900 XT. That MSRP is at $600. Previous best average was at 705. This month it's at 680. So going in the right direction again. And previous month's absolute best price one was at 700. This month it's at 670. And that's still almost 12% above MSRP. So it's in the yellow. Uh, anything above 5% is going to be in yellow. Anything 15% above MSRP is going to get marked in red. All right. And so that model is the power color and ASRock. It's a two way tie for that price. The ASRock model is the white one. I believe it's the uh, Steel Legend. And you can find both those models at Newegg. 4070 Super, 12 gigs of VRAM, 600 MSRP. Last month, the best average was 721. This month, it's gone up a little bit at 778. Well, it's gone up a lot of it. Previous month, best price was 663. And so here's the good news. The absolute best price one currently is 630. And that again is an Asus model. This is the dual fan model. And that's being sold by Walmart at Walmart. So, and that's only 5% above MSRP. So that's not a bad price. Uh, I'd like to see it at MSRP, but for the 4070 Super, that's not a bad price. For the 4070, that's also a 12 gig model, and that's also a $600 MSRP. Due to these prices and it being third party only, I'd stay away from this model. I'm not really gonna talk much more about that, but at 12 gigs of VRAM and a higher price, at 23.5% markup from MSRP versus the 4070 Super, go with the 4070 Super. 9070, 16 gig model, MSRP is at 550, and the previous month best average was at 617. The best average three right now is at 607, going in the right direction. Uh, previous month, the absolute best price was at 600. Same thing for this month. Uh, this time it is an ASRock and a Sapphire model that are available at that price. And you can find that at Newegg. That's a 9%, little over 9% markup. And so that's not a bad price, but you know, obviously we'd love to see everything at MSRP or below, right? And we got the 5070, 12 gigs of VRAM, $550 MSRP. Previous month average was at 548. This month's best average is at 547. So we lost a dollar there. Previous month's best price model was at 540. This month it's at 543, so we went up a few dollars there. And that's the PNY OC. You can find that at Best Buy or BH Photo. And that's 1.27% below MSRP, which isn't bad. 5070 is not a bad card, but once you get into 4K, that's it's gonna get a little bit hairy. And we got the 7900 GRE. This is an interesting one at 16 gigs of VRAM, MSRP at 550. Previous best average was 1,006. Now it's at 806. There's only one model available and it's through a third party. So I wouldn't necessarily fully put my trust in that, especially considering it's at almost 47% above MSRP of 550. Then we got the 7800 XT 16 gig and that MSRP is at 500. 
the previous month best average was at 550. Same thing for this month. Same thing with the best price model. This month it's at 550, which is 10% markup from MSRP. So acceptable, but let's get it closer to 500. And that model is the Power Color Red Devil OC. You can find that over at Newegg. Then we got the 4060 Ti 16 gig, and that MSRP is at 500. Previous month best average is at 585. It is now at 792, which is horrible. And it gets skewed because one of the particular models is, I think, over a thousand dollars or something like that. Previous month best price is at 509, which was quite acceptable, but now it's at 679 for the lowest price model. And that's the Yeston Sakura White, and that's at Newegg through the Yeston store. I would stay away from, from this. It's not only horribly priced at almost 36% above MSRP, but from a performance standpoint, you're doing okay in 1440p, but you're not doing great. That's, that's the lowest score on this entire board for 4K at 35.3 FPS on average. Then you got the 7700 XT 12 gigs, MSRP at 450. Previous month, best average was at 357. Now it's at 350, which is going in right direction for sure. And previous month, the best price was at 330. Now it's at 310. I think it's the same model as last month as well. And that's the XFX Speedster Swift 210 at Newegg. And that's more than 31% below MSRP. So for a 12 gig card, that's, that's not a bad price, especially since it's outperforming the 4060 Ti 16 gig model. And it's almost at the same performance level as the 4070. Then we get the 5060 Ti 16 gig model, and that's an MSRP of 430. Previous month's average was at 435. Uh, best average three this month is at 430, going in the right direction. Uh, previous month absolute best price model was at 430. Same thing this month, but now it's a three-way tie between PNY, Zotac, and Gigabyte. And you can find one of these models at either Best Buy or Newegg. And then we got the 9060 XT 16 gig version and the MSRP for that is at 350. Previous month's best average was at 380. This month is at 370, so going in the right direction. Previous month's uh, best price model was at 380. This month it's at 350. And I think it was the same model as last month, which is the Power Color Reaper. And you find that at Newegg, and that is at MSRP. So not a bad price. All right, just like uh, last month, this is the overall average performance. These are aggregated numbers based off of multiple reviewers, including my own numbers, because I felt that these numbers would be more accurate to what everybody's gonna find over time. And then these three columns are the cost per frame if these models were at MSRP. And so the best cost per frame model is the 9060 XT 16 gig, as you can see right here. Second place would be the 7900 GRE for 1080p, but for 1440p and 4K, it'll be the 9070 XT. And then these three boxes, that's the uh, cost per frame for the best average dollars. And I do best average dollars, so the top three best prices, rather than the lowest price, because not everybody's gonna get the lowest price model. All right, so 9060 XT 16 gig still takes first place. And then I've got the olive green coloring to uh, indicate first place for 12 gig model. Similarly, I've got the 9070 for best cost per frame for second place. And then we've got for a 12 gig model would be the 5070. And then we've got the honorable mention one, which is in my opinion, one of the best value cards, even if the markup is a little on the high side. If the 9070 XT were at MSRP, this would probably take the cake. This would probably be the best card on the market right now. All right, so those are the prices. And so as you can see, there were some uh, good price points out there, especially if you take a look at the cost per frame. So if you feel that the current price of the particular GPU that you're looking at is at a fair price point, you should get it. You could certainly wait until things like the next Prime Day, which is in uh, less than a week. 
but historically the prices haven't shifted all that favorably during those time periods, not even during things like Black Friday and the holiday season. So yeah, you could wait to see if the prices get better or you could wait until you see an announcement for the Super Series for the 50 Series cards. But you know, word on the street at this point is that they might not even announce it until the beginning of the year, which is what history tells us they will do. So, you know, it's really up to you on making the call on whether or not you see value right now, or if you think it's still too high for that particular GPU, and maybe you should wait. Certainly, I never encourage anybody to pay any more than 10 to 15% above MSRP for any card, because that's just insane. You should not do that. Uh, that just encourages them and encourages scalpers. So help yourself and help everybody else in the gaming community by choosing not to overpay on these kind of things. With all that being said, if you found value in this, please hit that like and subscribe. Uh, I do appreciate that and it does help out the channel a ton. And hopefully you found the information helpful and hope to see you in the next one.